I'm going to be using one pound of ground chuck, one pound of breakfast sausage, a couple bell peppers all chopped up, uh, a yellow onion, half of one, diced up, so a couple of teaspoons of olive oil, four cups of bread crumbs, two large eggs, and two cups of ketchup. Uh, got the onions here. They don't have to be too finely chopped however you want. Put a little bit of grease in the pan. It, grease can vary. You can put a little bit. Doesn't take a whole lot though. Go ahead and put your bell peppers in. Let them uh, start cooking. Put your onions in with it. Like I said, they don't have to be too awfully finely chopped if you don't want them to be. It really just, it's your preference on how big you want them. Okay, then we're going to take two eggs in a bowl. Take those. Got the butter in the, in there too. Forgot to mention that a while ago. We're going to put about a half a stick of butter in there. Then we're going to take our pork sausage. Go ahead and put that in with the eggs. Go ahead and put the hamburger meat in with the eggs. I used 85.15 on the hamburger meat. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, breadcrumbs in there, one cup there. Add another cup to it. I do add uh, one more cup or two more cups to this too. And after we get all those. Uh, ingredients all put in there good going to uh, mix it up pretty good put a little bit of garlic powder in there too I'm one that likes garlic powder or likes garlic anyway so add a little bit of garlic powder to it then we're gonna mix it all up pretty good get all the eggs everything mixed all throughout it You can tell it, it's a pretty good mess that you make, but it's well worth the mess when you're done. Just keep rolling it around there mixing it up good then once we get done uh, mixing all that up we're going to add the uh, peppers and uh, all that to it once you get the peppers added to it uh, we're going to make them into balls That's starting to melt there some. Just let that butter melt all the way. We want those to be sauteed pretty good. And the flavor right now is good. Here's our finished product once we've got it all put together, made into loaves. I put these together, let them set overnight in the refrigerator. And they do smell delicious at this point too. Once they've set overnight in there, we'll bring them out, let them set out of the refrigerator about an hour or so. Once they've been out for an hour or so, we'll turn our smoker on to uh, 240 degrees, and we're going to cook them. It should take three to four hours to cook them to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Once they're out here at the smoker, got them on the two shelves. Uh, here's where I've been looking for the mesh to put it to uh, make them where they don't fall through the racks. But go ahead, I put it on the the, med the middle shelf. Like I said, I'm using uh, hickory smoke on it. 
you can see all the bell peppers and onions and stuff inside there that we have in there which man it makes it taste great so you got the wood down here at the bottom uh, got the water pan in there go ahead and pour it one of them pucks forward get it ready it's in smoking position now see our temperature set for 240 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and turn the time up because I know it's gonna take quite a few hours and I don't want it to stop in the middle of it so I'm gonna turn it on up here as high as it'll go uh, it's 70 degrees inside the box right now inside the smoker that'll get up to 240 oh before everything's all said and done And then, gonna shut her up here. Come back whenever we're done smoking. Hey, we're back. Everything, as you can tell, everything turned out delicious. Uh, already cut it up into pieces, make sure it's good. Put a little bit of ketchup on top of it. Wanted to uh, put it in the oven in there with my baked beans. I like to get the ketchup nice and hot, so I'm gonna finish it off here in the oven. And, uh, call her done if you guys have any questions please comment subscribe I want to hear what you have to say thanks